The Bama Rev X will be for the S197 V6 owners out there who are looking for an affordable tuning option to deliver not only more power, but also a little bit more torque to your 3.7 liter powered V6 Mustang. Perspective buyers will be receiving two custom tunes in addition to being enrolled into Bama's free Tunes for Life program, which allows users to get tune updates as your modifications grow. Now, along with the Bama tunes, owners will be receiving the latest device here called the Rev X Tuner with the added benefit of cloud-based tuning, which is an industry first. Your price point is gonna be right around 400 bucks and you're looking at a simple one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter when it does come time to get these tunes loaded to your ride. Bama Performance has been doing their thing in the Mustang world for well over 10 years now and has become one of the biggest names in the industry thanks to combining affordable prices, great customer service, and pretty solid gains. Now their free Tunes for Life program continues to be a big hit with many Mustang owners out there because, let's face it guys, modifications never really seem to end. And with the company's program, you get a tune revision every time you add a modification, allowing you to maximize your performance. But aside from the free Tunes for Life program, Bama likes to deliver a couple of different tuning options, their Performance V2 and their Race V2 tunes. That Performance tune is a little bit more geared towards the street. Small bump in power, a little bit better throttle response, improved shift firmness for those automatic cars. The Race tune, on the other hand, is super aggressive and is designed for all-out performance using 93 octane or higher fuel. But without further ado, let's get into the numbers you might be able to expect on your own 11 to 14 V6 Mustang. Now we already established a baseline run earlier using our manual 2014 V6. We then re-ran the car using the 93 octane Bama Race tune, and here are those results. Baseline run using our six-speed V6 gave us 245 horsepower and 243 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheels. With that 93 octane Bama Race tune in place, the car is now making 252 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque again at the rear wheels. This is good for a peak gain of seven horsepower over those baseline numbers and gains of as much as 18 horsepower and 26 pound-feet of torque under the curve. All right, so even though our peak gains weren't absolutely massive with the 3.7 V6, the big story here, no doubt, were the gains made under the curve. And typically, guys, these are gonna be the gains you'll feel light to light, especially between the three to 4,000 RPM range where those big torque numbers were made. You also have to keep in mind here, gang, that dynos will be different, conditions will be different, so ultimately your results might vary slightly compared to ours. However, this is just to give you a better idea of what to expect when using the Bama tuning on your own V6 at home. Now, along with these power numbers, prospective buyers can also look forward to things like improved throttle response, a nice smooth idle, and great drivability, just to name a few, while those automatic equipped cars can look forward to snappier shifts and a sportier feel all around. But as I pointed out earlier, this package does include two different custom tunes from the Bama Performance team, along with unlimited data log revisions to get the best experience possible. Bama also offers more in-depth tunes for things like nitrous, E85, and forced induction, but because those tunes are a little bit more involved, they are gonna cost you a little bit more. But let's quickly touch on this Rev X device here because there is some really cool things to talk about. Now on the surface, the Rev X will be very similar to the X4 that you guys probably all know and love in regards to just basic features and operation, but with one big exception, and that is this new cloud-based tuning system. And what does this mean for you guys? Well, instead of needing a laptop to receive your tunes from the Bama team, you're just simply gonna connect the Rev X device to a Wi-Fi signal, it's gonna prompt you to download these tunes from the cloud, and that's pretty much it. It's a nice feature for a few different reasons. First and foremost, guys, it's really gonna speed up the process of not only receiving your tunes, but also loading them onto the device, in addition to not needing a computer to get you up and running, messing with emails, things like that. And if you're a Mac user, well, this is a complete game changer, guys, because let's face it, most aftermarket tuning devices aren't Apple compatible. Now, for starters, you are getting the on-screen gauges and data log and capable of reading and displaying up to eight different values at one time. Some of these include things like air fuel ratio, intake air temp, boost, coolant temp, ignition timing, just to name a few. But even though the case is a little different, the overall dimensions really haven't changed all that much. It's still roughly the same size as most smartphones out there, complete with a three inch full color LCD screen 
It is configurable or viewable in two different ways. You have your portrait mode, which is gonna be the straight up and down, or you can flip it over to its side and give you that landscape mode. Now, on the topic of displaying this device, one thing that I actually thought was really cool about this is this little portion here on the back. It's actually magnetic. So if you have one of those cell phone holders that is magnet-based, it's gonna be a great way to display the device for everyday driving, but it's also gonna make it very easy to remove, toss in the glove box or center console when needed. But in addition to all of the stuff we've already talked about so far here with the device you can also expect some of the other greatest hits if you will such as your wi-fi capabilities which will allow you to download those tunes wirelessly from the cloud like we already talked about but it's also going to allow you to download any future firmware updates to the device without the need for the computer, again, like we already mentioned. Now, even though you are only receiving two custom tunes from the Bama Performance team, the RevX tuner does have the capabilities to hold up to 10 at one time. Now, of course, you will be able to read and clear those diagnostic trouble codes, better known to you guys as check engine lights with the RevX device here, in addition to returning the car to stock if you ever needed or wanted to during your time of ownership. The RevX does also include both your USB cable, which can be used to connect connect this to a laptop for data logging, things like that, in conjunction with your OBD2 cable as well, which will be used to connect the RevX device to your S550. And speaking of connecting this little guy to your ride here, let's get into the install briefly using the RevX device. And honestly, guys, it's very straightforward. So one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter here, you don't even have to get your hands dirty and maybe 30 minutes of your time to get you up and running for the very first time. This might seem pretty obvious, but I strongly recommend just following the included instructions with the RevX tuner just for the initial startup, but also the basic operation. And this will also help you get those tunes onto the device for the very first time. Once you have that taken care of, go ahead and plug the device into your OBD2 port and wait for it to power on. Now you can navigate to the program vehicle tab and select the tune you wish to upload. Follow those on-screen instructions and your installation is complete. Wrapping this one up, the Bama RevX will be your most affordable custom tuning option currently on the site. It's gonna deliver two custom tunes and their free Tunes for Life program, all on the very cool new RevX device, which is gonna help make the tuning process a much easier one. So be sure to check out this combo right here at AmericanMuscle.com.